Hello, I'm Andrew Ditton and welcome to Challenge Pegasus. The hello, 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 hello. subscribers i am absolutely blown away so i thought it's a special occasion scoop myself back into my leather trousers and this is just a very quick and sincere heartfelt thank you to absolutely everyone and a little hello to all those new subscribers i thought i'd go through in this video of where the channel came from in the first place it all started in 2009 when I bought myself a new camera and that was a Canon EOS 5D Mark II. That is the camera that I'm recording this on now. It's my main SLR camera and at the time I was writing for magazines and I needed a decent camera for the images and it just so happened that this camera could take video but that wasn't the reason I bought it. However at the time Bailey Caravans had just launched their Alutech construction which had a superior grade of insulation and for the magazine I did a, a jaunt down to Switzerland with my family and we did a project called Challenge Pegasus and I thought as I had this camera that could take video I'd make a wee video of that trip so I kind of started vlogging before vlogging was even a thing. That video went down really well and I made another one for Bailey called The Orion Project and I also used to make videos of my trips to the Outer Hebrides because I wanted to show people what an amazing beautiful place this was and it was just something that was in me that I wanted to show people and when I heard a piece of music that really caught my imagination I wanted to put images to the, that music and that's where the Hebrides video started. In 2015 I started following a couple of vloggers and I thought I can do that. So I decided to do some vlogs in 2015 about my trip to Scotland and that was the original series of Scott Vlog. That series extended to 70 70 videos but unfortunately at the time my MacBook was getting quite slow. I was still running iMovie from 2009 and to produce a video took a long time and as such it took me almost a year to get all 70 videos edited and uploaded. In 2016 I realised that I'd outgrown this MacBook, I'd outgrown iMovie from 2009 and I bought myself a new MacBook Pro and Final Cut Pro 10. So I took my new machine on my trip to the Outer Hebrides, did a couple of monologues and then it broke down and I was left with my old Mac. As I say I'd done a couple of monologues in the car going up and then I just took footage ready for when the computer got fixed and I could teach myself Final Cut Pro 10. Teaching myself Final Cut Pro was an uphill struggle and I could not have done it without the help of an amazing man and that man is Dan Trudgeon so thank you Dan he he helped me a lot in those early days and still does with my editing on Final Cut so it was great to have Dan's support so thank you Dan and the reason I got in touch with Dan is because I started watching his vlogs and I thought oh my word they are depressingly good really good and I knew that I had to up my game so as I was learning Final Cut Pro with Dan's help I uploaded these monologues that I did in the car going up to Scotland thinking well other people seem to have done it and they've done pretty well uploading monologues and that's when I received some feedback some terrific feedback that really stung and it was probably the best feedback I ever got and it was from a guy called Anthony and you know who you are Anthony uh, left me a comment on one of the videos and said you know what I used to really enjoy your Hebrides videos but you just talking that's really boring I'm going to unsubscribe unless you up your game and that really really smacked me around the face and I thought he's right he's absolutely right I need to up my game so thank you Anthony for that much needed kick up the backside. Within two or three days I edited and uploaded a piece uh, called Hebrides 2016 and it's uh, a film that I'm still rather proud of. And then once I'd done that I uploaded 
a film called Sonia about Sawley McLean, which again I'd heard the music by the Isle of Sky band Nightworks and it just smacked me between the eyes and I knew for six weeks while I was in Scotland I had to make this video. I was just so driven to make this video about Sawley McLean and again that was really good in learning what I like to do and what worked and what didn't work. Our children are bred for emigration, 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 emigration. In October 2016, so not long ago, I was still working at London St Pancras and just across the way Google had opened up the YouTube space for the UK and I thought oh I wonder what that's all about and I distinctly remember tottering in to the YouTube space I said to the guys on the desk what do I need to do in order to be able to access the studios and the resources in this complex and they said well you need 10,000 subscribers before you can come in here um, how many have you got and I remember October 2016 and I said I've got 1,671 subscribers. It's a number I will never forget. And I remember coming out of the YouTube space feeling utterly deflated, thinking, I'll never get 10,000 subscribers. No one's going to be that interested in me. But nevertheless, I thought I'd give this vlogging a go and I started at the NEC show in October 2016 with a daily vlog and that was really well received and then after then I kept trying to upload weekly and I also started a little series called Living Simply because it's something that really appeals to me. I've been living like this for many years and there are a lot of resources out there about tiny houses and about projects, how to make a space look lovely, a small space, but these series they always stop short of the practicalities. They're all about how you could make the space but then very few discussed how you could actually live in them so i decided to do a weekly upload called living simply and that went really well and then as many of you know in february of this year i quit my job of 23 years on the railway that was a huge huge step i loved that job but it was a case of I had this opportunity to try and do something else and I grabbed that opportunity and um, I'll talk about that in just a moment. After leaving my job I then did a few vlogs from the NEC and then I went out to the Outer Hebrides for two months where I was studying for exams and of course as many of you know I did a new Scott vlog series and everything sort of continued with the vlogging and when I got back from Scotland something rather big happened to this channel that I didn't realise at the time and that was that Adria invited me to Slovenia to preview their Sun Living camper van and motorhome range and I did that and what happened after I uploaded that on the 1st of June this year I never ever saw coming. And that is, since that day, that video has received over 100,000 views. After that I went to a few new model launches in the UK and four weeks ago I uploaded the video about Coachman Caravan's new model launch but I thought it was a bit of a niche market and I didn't think that many people would want to watch that video. So far over 130,000 people have watched that video. It has absolutely blown me away and as such it seemed to make a lot of sense, even though I didn't have the time or the resources to go to Dusseldorf and bring you the latest from the Dusseldorf show because I knew that Dusseldorf would have a lot of very innovative and exciting new product launches. So of course, as you know, a couple of weeks ago we went to Dusseldorf and brought you Dusseldorf and that's where we hit the magic 10,000 subscribers. And here we are, that's where we are now. One thing that I will say is that we've got this far, when I say we of course, I know you're not really tuning in for me, I know who you're really tuning in for. We've come all this way without a strategy, without a brand, and you watch all these videos on YouTube about how you should be doing it. But what many of them miss off is the fact that it is all about the content, and I think 
this channel and your support is proof of that because I've come all this way without a clue. I've come all this way without a strategy. It's really doing what felt right, what feels right, but nothing is disingenuous. Everything is true. It's pretty incredible to think we've got this far in such a muddle. So since leaving my job in February, I do feel like things have kind of overtaken because I've been doing lots of other jobs, um, appearances at shows and making videos and writing articles and photography, as well as making all these YouTube videos and sort of riding on the wave of Dusseldorf show. And as such, I feel like I've been treading water. And in a way, I've also feel that I've lost my way a little bit because I've just been swept away on this wave and a little bit overwhelmed by everything and as such I've hardly had any time off, hardly any time to relax, hardly any time to recharge my creative batteries and what really hit home was while we were in Dusseldorf I was there on my birthday and beforehand in my previous life I'd be spending my birthday with my friends on a field, on a CL in Kent, with a, with a campfire, just chilling out in the August sun. And instead now, I was at the Dusseldorf show on that campsite, under the flight path, on my own, making videos. And I just thought, I've kind of lost my way here a little bit. Also, as many of you will know, that um, YouTube doesn't pay a huge amount for the videos that you, you, you upload and there are other things that are really kind of starting to hurt now and one of those is that after four years of study I have my graduation at the end of October and I can't actually afford the time to get up to the Art of Sky and attend my own graduation because I've got too much time dependent work to do otherwise I just can't afford the five days to get to the Isle of Sky to attend my own graduation and things like that, it's really starting to hurt a little bit. People have said, can we support you? Is there any other way to support you? And, and I've toyed with the idea of a Patreon account and it's still something I'm toying with and I'm hoping to launch some kind of a strategy with a Patreon uh, newsletter, all this kind of thing. So uh, I'm still treading water, but there are some exciting things to come. Let me know in the comments below what you think about a Patreon account. Some people call it e-begging and other people say, no, it's a perfectly justified way for people to support you to produce content. Because the problem is I'm so busy trying to make a living as well as make YouTube videos that we're just getting no time to ourselves. We're getting no time off and it's really starting to tell, I'm afraid. So where are we gonna go from here? Where are we gonna go from the Big 10K? Well, got some exciting videos planned. Uh, a few trips lined up, as you probably guess, I've still gotta give you the review of the interior of this Adria, and uh, I will soon be handing this, this caravan back to Adria. I've got another lone caravan coming up in a couple of weeks, just for a long weekend. That's very exciting, so I'll leave that with you. In October, Obviously, I'll be at the NEC Motorhome and Caravan Show. And the exciting news is that on the Thursday, both myself and Dan Trudgeon will jointly be meeting up with anyone who wants to come and talk to us at four o'clock on the Thursday of the NEC. We'll announce nearer the time where we're going to be. I think we're going to get to the show first and see where there's going to be a suitable corner where we can sort of scuttle away and hide. So keep posted and we keep you up to date with where you can come and meet me and Dan at the NEC show in October and then in November this is really exciting I'm coming to the United States I'm going to go to California and up to Seattle I'm not sure what the plan is or if there's going to be time to do a meetup I hope there's going to be time to do meetups we do some collaborations with some American RV YouTube creators and maybe look at the American RV scene and see how it compares to our European caravan and motorhome scene. So I'm really, really looking forward to that. So finally, the last part of this video, of course, as you can probably guess, is going to be 
the thank yous. And for that, to make sure I don't miss anyone, I am going to need my notes now. So do apologise while I have my notes, but I don't want to miss anybody off. Uh, first of all, the biggest thank you is to you. All 10,300 and however many you are at the time of you, you watch this. Because without you watching this, there would be no point in making any videos because I'll just be watching myself, really. No change there then, Dougal. So thank you. The biggest thank you goes to you. The next biggest thank you goes to, of course, someone who I would call has been my rock over the past year. Someone who's been there during the dark times. As you can imagine, there are some very dark and lonely times when you're on your own in your caravan trying to create content. You probably guess that amazing man out there is Mr. Dan Trudgeon. If you don't subscribe to Dan's channel, please do, because he is just the most lovely man on the planet. And he's always been there for me. And he's just an all round solid bloke. So thank you, Dan. Also, I'd like to say thank you to the team at Caravan Gossip. So Ian and family, they've always been really supportive. To the channel Tin Tent, I'm gonna put all these links channels in the description below there's going to be lots of links for you to follow lots of channels for you to follow tin tent lee davy who's um he's renovating his old bailey caravan he's just started doing some amazing vlogs and again he's always been there for me great guy and anthony ongado from the channel break the twitch again especially in the early days anthony was really really supportive sent me some lovely messages some great emails even though he had gazillion subscribers and I just had about 1671. Anthony thank you so much and do check out Anthony's channel Break the Twitch it is really interesting and Anthony's bringing out a book soon so I've already uh, pre-registered for that. Also I wanted to thank a couple of people who don't have YouTube channels but they've always supported me greatly either personally or through social media. One of those is someone who started off as a subscriber and a commentator and has become a very, very, very dear close friend of mine. That is Shanna, Shanna Trenholm. So thank you, Shanna. Shanna has a great blog called Average White Van. So I'll put a link to Shanna's blog in the description below. Check that out. She does some really cool things with her little van. And then another lady who's always supported me and she writes a terrific blog is Deb, Deb Ludford and her blog is called In Pursuit of a Dream. That's all about her UK caravan adventures. So again, check out Deb's blog in the link below. Thank you, Deb, for all your support over the years. And then I thought I'd just reel off my 10 most inspirational favorite YouTube channels for you. And they are in no particular order, A Streaming Life, California Camping, Seaside Housewife, The Indie Projects, The Indigo Traveller, Long Long Honeymoon, Caldermac, Jenny Mustard, Legs Down and Pete McKinnon. Some of those are very big and very famous and some of those you've probably never heard of. I'll put all those links in the description below. They're all my fa favourite YouTube channels where I get the most inspiration. Tons more channels that I really enjoy and sorry if I've not had a chance to mention you personally by name but otherwise we'd be here all night. So finally, where's the giveaway? Everyone does a 10k giveaway don't they? Well everyone who's organised with a strategy, yeah they do a 10k giveaway. You probably guessed I'm not organised, I don't have a strategy, I don't have things, I don't have anything to give you. But there is a giveaway, there is, but not on this channel. Dan Trudgeon is going to do the 10k giveaway to end all giveaways. He's got so much stuff to give away and at the time of uploading he's just about to hit the 10k. If he hasn't hit it already he's double figures off. So please head over to Dan's channel, subscribe if you don't already so he can get to that 10k and then Dan is going to do the most amazing 10k video. So my my cop out clause is head over to Dan's channel for the big 10k giveaway because you ain't getting nothing here. Sorry, only my charm, wit, personality, good looks. It's not working, is it, Dougal? No. So there you have it. Once again, thank you so much, everybody. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. It just means so much. Who knows where we're going to be this time next year? Hopefully 
have a better clue of what we're doing. But in the meantime, it just leaves me to say from a very excited, animated Dougal, and from me, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, we've got a uh, start again.